All right, guys, this is the 11th hired request of 2016. It's the Carpenters. They long to be close to you. And it's a piano solo arrangement. So melody in the right hand for you guys. Let me play some of it for you. this part it's one of my favorite parts but hello everyone I'm Sean Cheek welcome to my easy piano lessons I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as thousands of other lessons that I made over the past nine years are on my website webpianoteacher.com works on all mobile devices use Google Chrome or Firefox for best results have something on there for everyone if you are a complete beginner or are new to my method, please scroll down the main library list to the L's for lessons and you'll find 50 basic lessons that will get you used to my method, playing scales, playing chords, getting your hands to play together, uh, rhythms that will help you and then you can, can go on and do other things on the site. That will give you a foundation, okay, a place to go from. So anyway, here's the free part one. Uh, look me up on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com because you'll be notified, if you like the page, you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video lesson, a new video series to see if you want to learn that, those new lessons I have uh, uploaded to the site. So let's try it out. A lot of people just use their iPads and tablets and put them on the piano or keyboard and learn that way. It's great that we can do that these days. Uh, Let's look at this very beginning part here, and you know, I did eight lessons for it, so and they're extensive, and we go all the way through it. It has a key change in the middle, and I'll show you all the, the key change, and uh, it's just a great piano solo arrangement to uh, impress your friends with, or that special someone, right? <laughs> but uh, D, G, and the right, we're gonna, I'm gonna use three and five for that. If you want to use two and five, you can. I like three and five. And D, G above middle C, I'm going to hold the pedal down and play that two times. One, two, then I'm going to grab a lower G with my thumb. One, two, a three. Now, on this count, we're going to play C on the two finger and G on the five still. So one, two, a three, four. I'm doing counts. One, two, a three, four. A -da. Then I go back to D, G, then E, G, D, G. And then G, C, C, G. Notice that that high G is on the fifth finger the whole time, okay? And you, the notes are changing beneath it. D, D, C, C, D, E, D, G, C, C. And that's where the melody is because that's the note that's moving. And that's where our ears will go to automatically is the moving note. Okay, and then you continue. Right at the end, we'll do a left hand crossover with a G. And you can just hold the pedal down the whole time on this intro. Uh, when you're lower on the piano, you can't hold the pedal down like that because it'll blur. But when you're up higher and you're mostly on one chord, it sounds fine. Now, make the thumb not too loud. That's hard because the thumb is our strongest finger and you'll automatically want to play it louder, but you've got to keep it soft in this because it's just a pickup note. Great piano solo arrangement. Hope you guys enjoy that on webpianoteacher.com. And I'm working on the next hired request. I'll put it up soon. We'll talk to you later.